And this is called The Midnight Girl. The midnight girl overtakes me with her subtle smile, says it's been a while, stirs my dreams in a cocktail glass and sips, shifts her hips, whispers soft secrets through nightmare black lips, licks her fingertips and asks me if I'd like a taste, tells me that it'd be a waste to linger, from the door she beckons with a finger, her image slithers through my thoughts, wraps itself around my eyes, and I follow smiling as if I had a choice. Her rhythm always shifts my mind to midnight. And when the dancing is just right, I'll be waiting for the sun to break her spell. Oh well, she'll sigh. There's always another night. I give in to sleep, knowing that she's right. This one's one that could only be misinterpreted as erotica. I think you'll catch the line. <clears throat> it's called The Gardener. <sighs> one defiant lock of hair slips back in front of her eye as beaded sweat. Rolls down her cheek, glistens on her forehead. Dirty fingernails part soil under squinted eyes and overbit lip. She inhabits concentration like a bomb squad technician. She licks her top lip with a thirsty tongue in the summer sun, and probably catching her or probably catching her own salty sweat taste, and inhales deeply, the scent of her own patch of moist earth. Finally, carefully placing the already growing plant roots root or plant roots first into the fertile soil smiles as she pushes loose earth into a blanket over her tiny but growing child, drags the back of one carelessly dirty hand across her sweaty forehead and looks up. I clear my throat, smile sheepishly, nod and walk quickly away. And now a love poem. Aww, okay. Aww. Aww. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> I ruin it by saying the backstory behind this is really sad, but anyway, <laughs> this is, uh, I guess I don't really have a title for it. Um, I <laughs> center's hearts, I could have a vote afterward, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> my heart surrounds the pull of emotions, my room encircles my bed, encircles our bodies, encircles our hearts, beating in close proximity. They talk quietly in the silence of sleep-like breathing. A fence encircles the yard, encircles the house, encircles this room. Stillness is stretched out into the night. Small stirrings, the vibration of the breath of a sleeping world. The block encircles the house. The town encircles the block. The world encircles the town. Sprawling darkness we might call tonight encircles the stars. Centers defining circles. My mind surrounds the memories of that night, when the universe itself may have slept in enormously silent apathy, and everything spread out from the center, our two warm and beating hearts. So I'm just going to read this really short thing. It's a short story that takes about three sentences to get through. It fits the theme. <clears throat> Darkness sat down with, surrounded in engulfed light. Light sputtered, spoke, spattered out, a hissing protest, whispering around dying embers, shortened wicks, fading filaments, gasped, guttered, and went out. From the darkness, there was no deeper sounding just beyond the grasp of hearing laughter, but instead a sigh like that of the wind. Alone again with everything, he stood and lurched away as day spilled over the horizon. Mm -hmm.